All right, so we're talking about big life. It's about body, mind, and soul. At the same time, we have business influencers joining me every single day from 10 to 1. I have Marilyn Pinto with me. Um, she's a rebel educator. So when it comes to Kids Finance Initiative, tell me everything about it, Inajit. What we do at Kids Finance Initiative is we teach kids how to make smarter money decisions. This is something that's not taught in school. It isn't a topic that's conventionally taught in most schools under any education system. So that's what we do at, at the Kids Finance Initiative. We teach them everything that they need to learn about how to make smarter money decisions so that they can step up, play full out, and just live a life on their own terms. Right. So what are the most common mistakes that parents make, um, you know, with finances and children management? Right? Well, uh, I think one of the main mistakes that parents make is they uh, they delude themselves into thinking that this is a topic that's going to be taught uh, by the school. Uh, schools don't teach them, whether it's schools, high schools, universities, even, even business schools don't teach you how to handle your own personal money. They teach you how to handle company money, but that's not the same thing. Uh, and as parents, we tend to think that our kids are going to learn this in school. They are not. That is, that is the first one. Uh, the second mistake is they they think that the kids will sort of figure this out on their own. They might, but it's a very long and painful process. They're going to learn by making expensive mistakes. Uh, they are also going to lose out a lot in terms of just valuable time and money. Uh, another mistake that I see parents making is they mistakenly assume that because they're giving their kids an allowance or a debit or a credit card, uh, their kids are uh, smarter about money. This is a complete. This is completely false. It is not true. Um, giving your kids an allowance uh, or a debit or a credit card, there's no evidence to prove that just because your kids have that, they are smarter about money. What they should be doing is thinking more holistically about it, making sure that their kids develop a proper money mindset. Uh, I'd really like them to be more strategic about the way they teach their kids about money. All of these things, whether it comes to budgeting apps or debit or credit cards, these are just tactics. Right. What we need to do is zoom out and be more strategic about it. So the them. Kids Finance Initiative is the website, kidsfinanceinitiative.com. So if you were to quickly conclude and hire, you know, highlight a remedy, what would that be? I'd say for one, uh, invest in getting your kids uh, a financial education. It is possibly the most important thing uh, that you could give them. Uh, it also uh, makes you understand that getting kids to make smarter money decisions is a trainable skill. It's easily learned and the ROI on that investment is, uh, is sky high. Fantastic. Marilyn Pinto, Rebel Educator, kidsfinanceinitiative.com. Check out the website and I guess uh, take the step, you know, because knowledge is insightful. Thank you so much. Thank you.